meteorologist Brian Hale joining us now. Brian, showers, perhaps here to stay, <laughs> not here to stay? Well, here's the problem. The showers that we had, the flirtation with showers we had mm -hmm. tonight from a different mechanism than what we're going to see this weekend. I see. And this weekend's mechanism promises to be a little bit more... Well, reliable. Reliable. Take a look and you can see for yourself. 74 overnight tonight, mostly cloudy. Any chance for a shower ending after midnight? And when I say shower, I'm being generous. I'm talking about a couple of sprinkles. Southeast wind 10 to 15. All right, future cast shows. Yes, yeah, we head to midnight. The, light, the, the green represents just a chance for some sprinkles. And that all rolls away pretty darn fast. So the rest of the night, it's pretty much cloud cover. And that's all. So we're going to start the day out tomorrow with plenty of clouds in the sky and temperature in the mid to upper 70s rolling on through 6 to 8 a.m. We'll also notice skies will start to break apart and we'll go partly cloudy. Then we'll uh, go partly cloudy to mostly clear from noon to 3 o'clock. 88 degrees at noon, 92 degrees by 3 and that southeast wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. It's all good. It's going to be a great day especially for Hidalgo County because you're going to have 92 to 94 degrees southeast wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. It's just great. But here's the thing. We're talking about still that agricultural smoke being in the in the air, and that's a bad thing because it diminishes air quality, and uh, it's just is a, is a mess. So hopefully that will stop as we get closer to the weekend. I think we have a, an all but guarantee it's going to stop once a cold front moves through on Sunday morning. So I'll show you how that plays out. It also plays out with an increasing chance for rain. See, Saturday night to Sunday. Mm -hmm. That increased chance for rain and some thunderstorms will be a result of a frontal boundary moving on through. So here's late Saturday and the chance for rain starting to crank up towards Sunday midnight. That's the start of Sunday in the dark. And <laughs> the front rolls through 4 to 6 a.m. in the morning. Brings in the milder air. Yay, that's good. But it also just sort of sits there and acts as a focal point for more shower and thunderstorm development over the course of Sunday not just overnight, but into Sunday afternoon as well. Watch the clock go from 9 a.m. to noon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, on through 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and we still have a 40 to 50% chance for rain. Thunderstorms, I just don't see a whole lot of severe weather with this thing, but I certainly can see some embedded thunderstorm activity. Not that it wouldn't hurt. All right, now, Sunday in graph form. This just makes it easier because you look at it and you can say, okay, Sunday starts with the 30% and by lunchtime we're at 50%. So you can see our increasing chance for rain throughout the day on Sunday. But you know, for all the talk of rain, the forecast is still hugging a low rainfall total. A tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch tops. And it's been fairly consistent for several days now. So we'll see how it pans out. Hey, you know, half a loaf's better than no loaf, right? <laughs> Any rain will do. And you can see there with the seven-day forecast, once that shot at showers is done early Monday, it's over. And we go back to temperatures in the 80s and partly cloudy skies next week. So 